actually decent but these were not products that was like my favorite so of course I had to create this third category because usually you have some products that are just straight up trash ass you know you never repurchased and then you have like yes that was amazing like that was a favorite that was very memorable and then you have those products where it's like I can't put you in the worst category because you wasn't bad you actually did work but I can't put you in the best category because I done had stuff that was like way better than that. But I can do is put you in the middle. So that's why I created that. <clears throat> this weather hair is doing what it wants to do. It's kind of, mm, it was a little warm unusually yesterday for February. But the other day it was cold as hell. So if I still have a little sniffles or a little, mm, it's because this weather doesn't know what it wants to do. How can I say this? We don't have traditional weather here in North Carolina where I'm at you got fool's winter it's almost winter then you have winter then you have <clears throat> bipolar weather then you got fool's spring before it gets to spring then you have it's in between Spring and summer, it don't know if it wants to be spring. It don't know if it wants to be summer. Then you got summer. Then you have up. Uh, it seemed like fall might come early. Psych, never mind, it's back to summer. Uh, okay, and then it's going to stay hot for a while. And you be like, look. Now, when you said we wanted to cook, well, I'm used to the heat. Because <laughs> I'm from Louisiana, and then I lived in Texas. But those that ain't used to that, they be like, it's hot. It's 85 degrees, and you are complaining. You better shut up. Be glad it ain't 97 degrees or 100 degrees with a heat index of 112. Be quiet. <coughs> Quit complaining. Okay? Now, when it gets to 30 degrees, then you're going to hear me complain because that's some bullshit. I don't do cold weather. I hate the winter. It's ridiculous to me. And then when it's fall, you'll be like, oh, okay, it's nice. And then you have that comfortable fall. And then you got the, it's starting to feel like winter. And then, of course, you got... Damn, it's frigid cold winter. Sometimes I take the mild winters, but them cold ass winters, mm -mm. I'm just glad it did not snow. Because around two years ago, around this time, it was cold as shit. It snowed at my last apartment. I was like, oh, hell no. So that explains my in and out <laughs> voice if it goes in and out and teeter patter and pitter patters and goes. And then I'm like, eh -ehem. it's because this weather. And right now I have the heat on. Tomorrow I might have to turn the AC on because this weather, it don't know what it wants to do. So, but that's enough talking. That was too long. <laughs> Let's get into these middles. Okay. I always use toothpaste. This is the Advanced Arctic Fresh from Crest. This was a good one. I like the other one from Crest that I have, which should be in the favorites. But this one was good. But the diamond white or the other one is the one I love. This one was okay. They did the job. You always need toothpaste. That's what I'm going to say. So that's, mm hmm I can just pretty much just arrange them any type of way. All right. Um, right. I'm starting with what's poking out and peeking out. You always need hand soap, like always, always. You don't never want to be without hand soap because you got to wash your hands. I mean, it's common sense. This is stuff you're always going to use. It's sometimes I just may not like the scent of something or the taste of something, but it is stuff that I will use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this orange was not bad. It's called Orange and Peach Nectar. It's supposed to be a foaming hand soap. The scent was cool. <coughs> the scent was cool. The foaming part, I've had some that foamed better. But it wasn't bad. But it wasn't like, yeah, 
Yes, you get what I'm saying? So that's why I have that this middle ground category because it was just, all right, I'm going to use these products because you have to. It's common sense. You got to have hygiene. But it's nothing that I would be like, I love it. But I didn't hate them either. Okay, so this, of course, is the secret pH balance pH minerals delicate rose you're gonna use deodorant you should or you're gonna be a stanky mother <laughs> okay you're gonna use some form of deodorant whether it's this version the stick the roll on the spray on some form of deodorant you should be using at all times I mean that's just common sense this one, the smell of this one, it wasn't a bad smell at all. But if you ask me, this was, mm, it was okay. I wasn't stinky. It worked. That's, that's all that mattered. It worked good. The smell, I was like, you could have made it a little bit more rosy. But it was just okay. <laughs> That's why it's in the middle. Would I buy that again if I would buy Secret brand again? Not that scent again, but Secret deodorant, yes. Love they scents. I mean, I love their their deodorants. Sorry about that. I want to try the native deodorants, but I just haven't tried them yet for whatever reason. I know Secret and Suave deodorants, they work. Native, I hope they work because their body washes are they got some good smelling body washes, so hopefully their deodorants work as good as the body washes. Okay, so this is the Immunity Blend. I told y'all a little bit about this juice. And you would think, ooh, carrot? No, no, no. The apple in it balances out the carrot with the orange. It's good, but the other juice is better. So that's why this is in the middle. That's all I'm going to say about that. And you do need some form of some healthiness. And it's organic. And you can get this at Audi. They have both the juices. I picked up another one of the super ones. Uh, this is just, I guess, the immunity blend. <laughs> you do need to be taking some type of healthy supplement or drinking something healthy for you. I don't just always drink or eat unhealthy. I try to keep... A balance of healthy stuff and not so and this was at least a decent product I mean he, it's four servings come in this 120 calories per serving this has vitamin A vitamin C potassium calcium so not bad like I said I've drank the other one and that was better <laughs> so that's the only reason why that's over there okay this one of course, it's a tone up. If I see some more of these on sale at Target, I am very curious to try some more of these. This was not terrible. This was okay. Because uh, I tried the terrible one, the unscented one, and that was like, why? It fooled me because it was in the wrong spot. So when I parted, it, I was like, wait, this is supposed to taste like a peach or like pineapple. What the? Ew! Ugh! No! My fault. I, I should have paid more attention. That That's my fault on that, but I'll never buy that one again. To sum this up, if this is on sale again, um, in a different flavor, I didn't hate this. It was actually decent because it had collagen in this. There is something else with collagen and like some greens and stuff that's at Target. I want to try those. In addition to, I want to get some of my favorite powders that I had to, some of my favorite protein powders that I would have to order. I want to try those too. But we're going to take one step at a time. We're going to see what's what. But this bad boy was not bad. This was actually pretty solid. So. <coughs> Get some water. Okay. 
I have two of these. This immunity one. It was not bad. It's got zinc, vitamin C, and E, cranberry, acuberry. I think I can't remember. This wasn't horrible. Do I like one more than the other? I think I like this one a little bit more than the other one, but they were still not bad. I mean, Ocean Spray, it's, it's okay. That's what I'm going to say about that. I have to go back and watch the video <laughs> to see, like, did I love it or did I like it or... Ooh, let me take these off for a minute because I'm going to have to really clean that. I saw, like, a bunch of dirt on there. I was doing a little dusting earlier and I guess it got on my glasses so I'm gonna put this back there so I can actively tally that and count that up so far that's one two three four six products so far um this will be seven because it's a different flavor and this one wasn't too terrible but this was the orange mango flavor with same thing I thought it was all right um, I think I like the other one better than this. Or it might be vice versa. I like one better than the other, but they were still decent. <laughs> Nothing was as nasty as that palm drink. That was horrible. Y'all saw my face with that. At least I kept a solid face drinking these. I couldn't keep a solid face drinking that. I was like, this is disgusting. Ew. Okay, so this big old... Whoa. Is this a big old container? Um, this seemed like it took a hot minute to finish. This is the caramel mocha latte. It had an aftertaste that I didn't like. They got other flavors. I wasn't trying matcha nothing. I'm sorry. I don't think I would like it. Not with this brand. Maybe if some of the other protein shakes had a matcha flavor. I would try it. But with this Garden of Life, no. Because it's got a... If this is caramel mocha latte and it's got an aftertaste, like it tastes good when you're drinking it. But then well, um, when you finish drinking it and, and it starts going down, you get hit with an aftertaste that is powerful. And you be like, ooh, that's not pleasant. The flavor is good, but that aftertaste, they need to adjust that. That's why this is in the middle. If it didn't have that aftertaste that was unpleasant, I would put this in the favorites. The flavor is on point. The aftertaste is a headache. So it takes away from the flavor. That's why this is in the middle because it's not the worst I've drank, but the aftertaste is like, you kind of taking away from the flavor. So that is the main reason why this was in the middle. <coughs> I think that's why it took so long for me to finish that. Let me move this box so I'll have more space to spread out. Okay, so now we're getting into some more middle stuff. The Fruit Babies. This was actually good. There was only like one thing I did not like. I'm sorry, y'all. I did not like the Pore Tight Toner. I didn't. And I thought the avocado cream was just okay. I know they have other cleansers from the Fruit Babies. That are supposed to be good. Or at least better. There's like a berry one. And then there's a papaya one. And then there's something else. And then I think there's like a pineapple one. or There's like three other cleansers that I want to try. I definitely want to try the papaya one and the berry one. And if they're better than this one, then I'd stick with those two when I want to be on the high end tip. I know there's stuff from you to the people I want to try when I get a chance to. <laughs> okay. That's when I get a chance to. I thought I had something on my tooth. Maybe I'm just tripping, but I was like, did I have something on my tooth? That's besides the point. The hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic cream. That was one of my favorite things. That is very moisturizing. I would buy that by itself. It is that good. Okay. The dew drops 
loved the dew drops and I love the strawberry. So these two, right? This I did not like. This I thought was just okay. Love this. Love this. And I love that. So three out of the five was good was I would repurchase. One I'm on the fence about and one I would not. So that's why I made it in the middle. Okay. If I hated everything, this would have been in the... Mm -mm. But I like at least three out of the five. If it was like four or more, I'd have put it in the favorites. I'd have just said I just buy everything. But that... But I like three out of the five. Like I really would purchase three out of the five. Again. And then I could just build a kit... <laughs> Or build a routine based on what I like. Now, I don't know if they still have this. Because I was watching this one YouTuber. She found this whole line. Well, not this whole line. But it's like a dupe to the Glow Recipes Walmart line. Like everything from the cleanser to... So if I could find that, I would want to try that. Because what she found was beautiful. Even the packaging was gorgeous. I'm like, damn. <laughs> so if I could find similar products for less money, I'm with that. Because this did cost a little penny for this kit. That's all I'm going to say. But it was not bad. I did like it. It's just two things I would... One, I'm like, eh, you know. It's all right. And one, I'm like, I did not like that. So... That right there is number nine. Let me see what else I got. Okay. The only reason why this vitamin C and T dark spot serum is in here. I don't know if I can find this. This I actually loved. I got this from Marshall's. It was like $4.99. It would have been regular like $8 or $9. Marshall's, sometimes you might find stuff you love. Then you go back, try to find it again, and you can't. So, that's my only reason why it's in the middle. And I'm not trying to be, you know, because I might find something else I like too. You can find some interesting stuff at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. You really can. And sometimes it'd be good stuff. And that really was good. <laughs> I just hope I can find this again. If I can, great. This Absolute New York um, Dark Spot Vitamin C. I love a good face serum. So I'm, I'm praying I can find that again. I'm hoping I can. Because it was good as hell. Okay. This is also something I really did enjoy the packaging alone is beautiful the only reason why this pearl essence hyaluronic acid is in here if y'all know where i can find this please let me know because this packaging is just it's beautiful it is a gorgeous product if i see it again i'll buy it again but i with these skincare stuff, you never know. Sometimes they might only have so many. And once it's gone, it's gone. I buy what I need because I don't know if I overstock on a product and I hate it. Then I got to use it. And I'm like, but I hate that. Why did I buy too many? But this was actually really, really good. I really did enjoy this. I hope I can find this again. Because I got this way last year. Like early last year when it was still winter. I'm almost due for a little Marshall's TJ Maxx run. I probably will do that like next month. Cause... Okay, this by BioBlades Sculpt De Bloat Protein Powder. This chocolate one was actually good. Um, <coughs> Sometimes I don't know if I can. This one had a matcha one too. But I was like, mmm. If I got probiotics in it, I don't think I want matcha taste. It just doesn't seem right. Okay. It might be good, but it's certain brands I would not try matcha in. Because I'd be like, why don't? Unless it's on sale, 
Because I almost got the matcha one, but if something was like, girl, don't do that. You ain't going to like that. You going to be mad at your damn self. So if I see the matcha one on sale and, it, and I browse and I might like it, hmm, pray for me on that one. <laughs> but this one was good. It's just, I've had some that was a little better, but this was actually decent to say. I actually like this. I need these to come back on sale. That's why it's in the middle. Because, um... I got this for $9 versus getting it for $30, okay? They had to give it to me because it said $9. That's your fault for keeping the sign out. So I got this for $9 versus $30-something. dollars. I'm all about a bargain, so if I see it on sale again, I'll try it in a different flavor because it actually was good. That's my little thoughts on that. All right, what's next? Okay. Uh oh, trying to keep the can in one thing. This gridlock Audi. The green one to me tastes better because it tastes like a green apple. This tastes like a berry something to me. This is I told y'all what this tastes like. It's very similar to the berry something one from from Bang. That one tastes good. That one is the favorite. But this one's good. It's not as good as the bang one, but it's good enough for me to drink and enjoy. So that's why it's in the middle. Uh-oh. Okay. This thing. Ooh. Um. I couldn't decide whether... Excuse how... Excuse the, um... The drippage from that, I tried to clean it up, but it's in an empty, so hell, it's going to look how it look. This amino acid liquid collagen biotin beauty formula, um, I do want to try more liquid, um, liquid collagen beauty formulas. I just don't think I would try this one again. It was getting good until... That aftertaste kicked in. Because it does have vitamin C, vitamin B, biotin, hydrolyzed collagen. It has like a herbal blend, of course. Horsetail extract, blueberry juice, Japanese knot root extract, papaya fr fruit powder, watermelon fruit powder, uh, grape seed extract. It's also got water. It's one of the main ingredients. It's got vegetable glycerin, citric acid, natural flavor, potassium sorbate, uh, xanthan gum. The only thing is, it was decent till the aftertaste kicked in. It was not horrible because nothing. L look at my face. I mean, absolutely nothing. Was as horrible as that damn palm. That shit was ass. I could at least keep a straight face with this. I might have did a little, mmm, mmm, but I got through it. The palm, man, I was like, mm, 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 mm. y'all saw. If you go back and watch that video, you see my face on that when I was drinking the palm. So this. This, I can at least, I could at least tolerate compared to the palm. I, I, I wasn't trying to tolerate that palm for what? No, that was just nasty as a motherfucker. Okay. So this is the rainbow one. It was okay. <coughs> If I run out of the ones I love and this is on sale or I see this again, then I'll buy it. It was, it was all right. Um, it's not a favorite, but I did not hate this. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. Okay. Oh, it's a lot more to go in this box. I see it. It's a big box. So y'all just bear with me, please. Okay. 
this yes to watermelon light hydration um, super fresh cleanser it means exactly what it says this is light hydration did it clean yes was it too light for me hell yes it was too light i like something a little thicker because i feel like this is watery it cleaned but the texture was a little off to me and i know i said light because sometimes it says light hydration on some products but it gives you a deep hydration so the smell is what got me because i do not mind the smell of watermelon this smell smells it's a great watermelon smell i like this smell it has a little sweetness to it but you know it's watermelon so <clears throat> And it's 96% natural ingredients. So that's another reason what caught me. And the packaging is cute. <laughs> if I see this again, would I buy it again? I mean, I might. We'll see. But right now, no. But I might in the future. That's what I'm going to say to that. Okay. Here are these gummies. <laughs> I told y'all my mother it has a Costco's membership. My mother is all about Costco's. She shops at Costco's. Okay. So, Costco's is right up her alley. I am not a Costco's member. But if my mother sees something that she thinks I'm going to like, she will buy. I mean, and everybody needs a good multivitamin, right? I mean, you need it for something. These were decent, but I don't always know if I'm going to be able to get these. <laughs> and you know the Kirkland's brand. That's straight up Costco's. I'm not a Costco's card member like that. So, I'm going to put that in the middle because I don't give me the line. I don't know when I'm going to be with her and I'm be like, hey, I need some vitamins. Or when she's just going to randomly bring me some vitamins. Because some stuff she brings me, I love it, but then I can't get it again. Because I'm like, damn, I don't go to Costco's. Why'd she do that to me? Okay. I always need and always have loved these Dr. Teals. The soaps. Um, this orange one. It wasn't bad, because they didn't have some stuff I was like, never again in the history. I mean, you always need some vitamin C. It was a, like, oh, damn, it's orange. But it was okay. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. Still got a lot more products to get through. Oh, I got this for $2.99 at Ross. I have two of them. This was the cherry one. Uh, it was all right. It, like I said, if I see these again and I don't find what I like in bath bombs, I buy it again. It's just they'd have to be out of what I love and then that's the only option or get something I don't love and I'll pick that because <laughs> I'm not buying what I don't love no more. Okay, so this is the strawberry crumble one from Lush. Sorry, I almost had a brain fart. It's all right. Uh, the smell was beautiful. The color was beautiful. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. It took a little minute to get there. So that's why it's in the middle. When it finally did, it was cool, but it took too long to kind of break down the way it was supposed to. And then it still was just okay when it did that. But the smell was gorgeous. The lemon one was better than this one. The lemon one. Mm hmm But I, I ain't too mad at that. If I see it again, I'll buy it because I've tried it and it was just okay. But there are some I'm like, ain't no way in hell that I would ever. Okay. This rosemary and mint one. I pretty much have explained why this is in here. It is a strong, let me see, 
I think it's the mint or the rose mint. One of them is strong as hell. The rosemary is strong as shit. You open it, she be like, damn, where's the mint? <laughs> they must have used pure 100% rosemary or no dilution, no nothing. Okay. Because that rosemary leaf oil is strong as a motherfucker. I'm like, where's the mint? <laughs> All I smell is straight rosemary. But it wasn't a like a horrible smell. But it wasn't like, okay, this is the best smell of them all. You get what I'm saying? It, it wasn't like that. Like, that's the best one. It was okay. Okay. So here's this. Tropical Storm. It tastes like a tropical mango drink from rain. It was okay. It was a good. Was it the best? No. But it was good enough for me to drink and at least enjoy. I ain't do no gagging. Oh, no feel like I want to spit this shit out. So we're going to say it was at least a decent product. If it made me gag or want to throw up, then we know. Okay. Now I got to get up because <laughs> it's getting a little deep. Okay. I'm just going to pull at random because I actually have to get up. I can't just... Stay seated how I would want to. Okay, so I'm up. Here is the Calm and Serenity one. This is the next one. Why was the, the rose could have been to me? This was decent. But that rose was almost so subtle to where it was like, I had to, I like a little bit more, hmm, I almost forgot this smell. I almost did. It was like, this wasn't a memorable smell, but it wasn't a horrible smell. It was just a, eh, smell. So that's why that's in the middle. But it was at least a decent but it was nothing like, oh, yeah, I got to get that. A. Okay. This pour perfecting toner works. You'll see it again. Don't I don't know when because it's probably going to be in every empty, but I'm going to always put it in the middle because it does work. But the thing is, the smell, that smell, that smell, that smell know what I'm talking about you'd be like yeah that's not the most pleasant smell that you want to smell you'd be like uh-uh if you ain't never smelled this they could have did something to dilute that smell this is pure witch hazel straight up out the the plant <laughs> in the bottle it does work though, but it does stink though. <laughs> so because it works, you know it stinks. I have it in the middle. Okay. Now here is ice cream. This is the fudge rounds one. This one was not bad. It was very chocolatey. I've always thought the fudge rounds as a kid was just okay, but I got these because I wanted to try them. I wanted to try the ice creams, see if they taste like. This one actually was pleasant. It wasn't horrible. But, you know, I've had better <laughs> from them. Okay, I can't find the top to this, but when I do, this is the Cosmic Brownies. It's somewhere in that box. The Cosmic Brownies was actually, to me, a little bit better than the Fudge Rounds. They were about what and what. But it did taste like a brownie. So I got to give it a point for that. 
it tastes like what it said it was. Was it a favorite? No. Did I hate it? No. Did I enjoy it? Yeah, it was decent. Okay, I'm standing up now because some of these I can't just sit down and pull. I got to get up and pull. So. Oh, it's tough. Oh, there's the top for this. I'm just going to be pulling at random, trying to pull, 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 so I don't have to keep standing up and getting up. Okay. I'm going to start with this. <coughs> okay. Okay. Ah. I'm turning this shit around so y'all can see this. Damn, this is gonna be long. Okay, this rainstorm clean energy one. Mm. It was pretty decent, the kiwi blend, but I do think this had a slight little aftertaste, but the flavor was good, but slight little aftertaste. So that's why. Same thing with this peach nectarine. Good, but there's always that little funny aftertaste. And I don't think nobody like a little aftertaste. They'd be like, uh-uh. So. Okay. This... Of course, is the, let me take this big box. Hold on, y'all. I need more space. This box is going to get down there. Okay. Whew. That's why I was like, I ain't going to be able to do it all. All right. So this, here we go. This item was, it smells so damn good. I don't remember this feeling this buttery. It's got like a buttery feel. It almost feels like a whipped, like a body cream. This is a this is a exfoliating body polish. They should have left it like a scrub how it was. Because it was way better. But the smell of this, because when it was a scrub, I remember it used to be smelling like bathroom. It used to be like, baby, yes. Now it's... It does what it can, but it's not like, wow, let me go and get that. It's like, it's good, but, but, but it could be better. But it does at least work. It's just, I remember they did, they reformulated maybe because this don't even look like the same packaging. I know it's always been 10 ounces but it feels like it's been like they changed the packaging a little bit made the packaging look a little smaller but still kept it at 10.5 ounces maybe it's just me but this is not how i remember the first time i got this first time i got it i loved it it was in a favorite then i bought it again i was like smell is there but that texture is something different about it I couldn't put my finger on it. So they decided instead of making it a scrub and keeping it a scrub to make it more like a polishing, exfoliating butter. Should have left it a scrub. That's all I'm going to say on that. Okay, so here is the limited edition cinnamon dulse. The only reason this is in the middle and this was really good. I don't know when the tree hut going to bring them back. Oh, well, this is not a scent I can that I would use all year round. In the fall, oh yes, Lord, I would. In the fall and winter, I could definitely rock the cinnamon dulce. Spring and summer, mm -mm. but I could at least transition from this into the fall into peak winter 
And then my March, I'm like, all right, I'm trying something else. <laughs> so at least from October to February, I could get away with that. Cherry Limeade wasn't horrible, but if I'm comparing this to the Bang, something that I tried with Cherry in it, that one's better. Just saying. I'm going to be honest. Okay. So for this one, Okay, so for this one, this is a Razzleberry. This Razzleberry is a little bit similar to the Gridlock one. The Gridlock one was okay. This one's okay. But I still think the Bang Razzleberry is better than both. Well, oh, no, this is the... This is raspberry. There's a bang like raz something that's better. But I would at least, I can at least tolerate. I don't hate that. That was at least a decent product. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm trying to arrange all of this to where I can count and tally all this up at the end. The smell of this was deceiving because the smell and color... How can I say this? It deceived the shit out of me. The packaging to this, when I opened them up, of course you get so many in here. I love the smell of the strawberry mango. The color I did not like at all. So the scent was good, the color payout, it didn't wow me, it was just white. Wrapped in beautiful, pink bright sparkling pink packaging it threw me off because i'm like oh that looks beautiful open it up. i'm like this is just plain don't deceive me like that the smell was good the packaging was good the color was not it sorry the smell could have been better more amped up i was expecting it to be like a bright pinkish orange color like a coral color that wasn't it. It was just white. So, mm -mm. But it wasn't worse. Because I at least liked the smell. That's what I'm going to say about that. Okay, so. This next one. This vanilla. Now, I got to say, I did not hate it. I actually... I don't mind the smell of this vanilla one. I mean, out of if I see it again, I could see myself purchasing it again. It's just out of all the ones I've tried, this vanilla was a decent one. It's a classic scent. Vanilla is a classic smell. Nobody's going to get about mad about smelling like vanilla or smelling like chocolate. Or like coconut. Those are classics. Or smelling like a strawberry. Those are classic scents. Those four scents. Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, coconut. Okay. Can't go wrong with that. So this overall was pretty decent. I don't have any bad feelings about this. So I'm going to put this in the middle. Okay. So this is the Candy King. This is the whipped body butter. I actually did enjoy this. I actually did finish this. Because the candy cane is like a tree hut one. But sometimes they're limited editions where they may be a little harder to find. I will put them in the middle because even though I did enjoy them, I know it's not nothing I can just find on a regular, regular basis. And get all the time. So... For that reason is why this is in the middle. Because it's like, hey, I may not be able to go get this all the time. So I'll at least put this in the middle for now.
Okay. This Tilmu Tilmu one. Damn, this said it was best if you use it by July 1st of 2024. Well, it's been used. What do I have to say about this? This is actually a good. Um, this makes me want to try the other ones because it, it could have had a little bit more cream, but the peach was definitely there. That's the only reason. Just it was almost in the favorites. Just missing something to keep it from the favorites. That's pretty much my thoughts on that. But is this a good ice cream? Yes. It's good. <coughs> mm. Okay, so here's another one of these. Now this one is the birthday cake one. Uh, it's definitely limited edition. I didn't love, but I didn't hate. What I don't love is the smell of this. The smell of this is a little off. It throws me. It sends me. It smells, I smell more like the sprinkles part. They should have made it smell more birthday cake like. Less sprinkles like because that smell is uh uh. Tweak this tree hut, please. That's why it's in the middle and it's a limited edition. It's the smell that threw me the hell off. I was like, uh uh, mm -mm. but it does work. It's just a smell. I was like, I, I can't wait to finish this, <laughs> and I finished it. Okay, uh, it wasn't worse smell, but it was like. Mm. Pink chiffon. This is a lotion. Smells amazing. The whole collection from Pink Chiffon from Bath and Body Works smells amazing. The reason why this lotion is in the middle, I prefer the body creams from Bath and Body Works. They last longer. I feel more moisture. Even though this was moisturizing, I feel like I get my money's worth with the body cream. Because I, they didn't have the body cream, I got the lotion, but I wish they had the cream because I would have bought the cream. Okay, here's another one. This is the peach from Alani. Juicy peach. It's good, but hey, when I know I can get better, I get better because the cherry one was better than this, but this was at least a solid product. That's what I'm going to say about that. No hard feelings on that. Now I'm just grabbing at random. Okay. Same thing with... Damn, some of these cans really got beat the fuck up. <laughs> Same thing with this one. I don't know how many products this is now, but I know it's a lot. And I know it's getting up there, so sorry about that. I think I'm going to get... I'm trying to keep this under an hour. But I doubt it. Sorry about that, y'all. This is the Rain Total Body Fuel Rainbow Sherbet. It was okay. Again, if I see this again and I need an energy drink and I don't see others that I think I would like, I'd buy this. But this was all right. I mean, it wasn't horrible. That's what I could say about that. Because you know me, if it was trash, I'd be like, no. I would tell you if I did not think it was good enough. Okay. Here is the Dr. Teal's Detoxify. Now this is okay. Um... I actually like this. I do not hate this. But 
once again, Dr. Teal sometimes has those hard to find scents that you ain't gonna find in every area. So for the winter and late fall, I can do this. Just don't know where I'm gonna find it again. That's the only thing. Okay, here is the strawberry shortcake ice cream rolls. I needed a little bit more strawberry because I think the shortcake was a little too much. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't a favorite either. So that's how we're going to address that. These were not horrible. But I will say this again. The smell of this, the pomegranate Bellini blush, was good. I wish the color was... It was more that light on the light version. I wish it was like this or like that dark pink on the packaging instead of like light pink because the color payout, I didn't, I was trying to get it. I wanted to get it, but I didn't quite get it. So that's what I'm going to say about that. Okay. So I have this Lush Twilight. Twilight was cool. I didn't have any issues with Twilight. It was try to remember but I can't but I don't think I hated it so that's what I'm gonna say about Twilight that's why I'm not gonna say too much about it it's just like I uh, mine is drawing a blank <laughs> I'd have to go back and watch the video but I don't believe I hated it this is just another one of these okay because I had two of them so mm. vitamin D you need them do I like these vitamin D? That was okay, but I've had better, and I'm going to find some better vitamins that I actually love the taste, but they was just okay. But I was not in love with the taste, no. This medic, this was, this always does the job and gets my face right and cleans it well, but it's a messy process in my sink. So that's why. I'll buy it again. I don't remember it being as messy the last time. So I don't know if they added or removed because people's always tweaking or if it's always been this messy. But you'll see it again, though. I don't know when because I'm always going to try new things, of course. But if nothing works as good as this, I'll always come back to this because I will. For my skin, it's just I like to try new things. So for right now, I'm putting this in the middle. Hopefully they can get that messy process straightened out because that was a mess. <laughs> okay. This zebra cake. <coughs> what can I say about zebra cake? Yes, it tastes like it was supposed to taste. But it still tastes like it was missing something too. This one was disappointing. I expected it to taste better. Mm. The swirl part, yeah, they got that right. But they could have made it a little bit more cake-like. This is my opinion, but it wasn't bad. Because I do love me some zebra cakes. But was it like, oh, one of my favorites? No, but I didn't hate it. If that's what you want me to say. Okay. Ooh, we're getting there. This, this is the coconut vanilla cream. Foaming bath. Basically bubble bath, okay? Got it at Marshall for $6.99. It would have been regular $10 by the time they added tax in North Carolina. Might have been $11, $12. <laughs> yeah. 
<clears throat> North Carolina, what is the point of taxing on stuff that we actually need? The smell of this is lovely. The only reason why this is in the middle, I do not know when they will have this available because Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, other places like Roses, even Target and Walmart does things. Stuff may be seasonal. You may go back like, oh, I love that. I want to buy some more of that. You be like, uh-uh, they ain't got no more of that. It, when it's gone, it's gone. So that's why I said you don't know when you're going to find, and I don't know when I'm going to find this again. The smell was lovely. The bubbles was lovely. I didn't buy it for the color. I bought it for the smell and the experience, and it was a good one. So, because I don't know when they're going to have it again. I got to put it in the middle. Because I don't want to love something when I cannot find it again. That's basically what I'm saying. Oh, sorry. Growing hair. It just... Okay, so... These were decent. But these... See, the packaging on this was cute. It gets you. Do I wish it was bigger? Yes. <clears throat> I don't hate it, but I'm not... I'm not solely, solidly in love with it. Okay. I have the body cream to this one in a million. The body cream is that girl... The body cream just does it. This lotion was decent, but if you ask me, the body cream to this is better. Sorry, it just is. So, in my humblest opinion, I would purchase that body cream again. Okay, so this was the big daddy to the little small thing. I'll be trying to try different, you know gummies i didn't know i had tried i guess until i look i was like dang i got two of them so i ain't no need for me showing y'all the the big version of the small version you just gonna get a breeze through okay you always need some form of iron i eat stuff with iron in it but there's occasions where i'm not sure if i'm getting enough iron so these are actually good you know it's always gonna be an iron taste and everything you be like you Come on now, but these were decent. I have to see if where I got them from have more of these because these are not easy to find. But they are some of the best tasting iron supplements that I've tried because I've tried some others and they were disgusting. Okay, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay. <sighs> this detox was not horrible because I'll take a little whoop, like I said, more into the healthy stuff. But mm, it's not my favorite. And this was okay, but I don't like grapefruit. And even if it's got a little swig left in there, I'm not drinking that. Because they are very fresh. So they were okay, but nothing right home about. Okay. These are some other iron supplements. Because you do need your iron. This was just okay. This was not nothing to where I would be like, yes, favorite, love it. Use I. He wasn't horrible, but he wasn't the best either. Okay. I'm trying to remember what this was. I'm trying to remember what it was. I'm trying my best to remember what the fuck is this. 
I just I can't right now because the label done rubbed off. So it was a bad phone, but I don't think it was a horrible one. I just I can't remember right now. Damn, I wish I would have wrote it on there. Okay. These pineapple and strawberry, the, the bombs. I mean, if I can't get to Lush and they don't have any of the holler and roll ones at Target that I like, then this would be a third option, but they were at least okay. And you never know what you might find on the inside, so I'm not knocking the hustle of being entrepreneurs. I'm not. It was all right. It wasn't nothing that makes me say, yes, buy it. Um, And then, of course, they had this one, which was like the coconut fizzer one. Because some of their bath bombs be cute as shit. So, this one had like a little glitter, which is cute. And when it comes off and the water is beautiful. So, I mean, I ain't going to knock them because they had some cute bath bombs. Okay. What is this one? This is the Sunny Bar one. Cute, but it's not a favorite. So I'm going to put that in the middle like that. And something failed. Okay. This Eucalyptus and Beloved, this was just okay, but it wasn't horrible. Okay, last products. Hermitis. I don't know how much this costs. I know I got a sample of this. I know this is expensive, but it worked. But it's expensive. So, whew, that's why this is in the middle, because it did at least work. And this is another beloved one. Okay, right at one hour and some change. I don't know how much crap, I mean, not crap, stuff empties this is. Let me put on my glasses for a minute, even though I got to wash them. Okay, let me get up to try to count this, tally this up for y'all. Okay, so it's about 56 different ones. Okay, that's at least, but I'm going to count again because I could be wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just count the big one, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, okay, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, no, that's 62 things. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. So, <coughs> that was a miscount. That's why I counted again. So, 62 items that I thought was at least in the middle. Okay. So, that means majority of the lifestyles I thought were at least good. All right. So, 
I'm not mad at that, and I will tally this up next time to see how much empties I used for my lifestyles. All right, let me go throw all this away, clean all this up, relax, and then I have some more things to talk to y'all about. And then I'll upload this. Probably won't be today. It'll probably be tomorrow. Ooh, it's going to take some time. <laughs> Bye.